July 27 Nehemiah 6 1 to 7 73 Now it happened when Sanballat, Tobiah, Jeshim the Arab, and the rest of our enemies heard that I had rebuilt the wall and that there were no breaks left in it, though at that time I had not hung the doors in the gates. But Sanballat and Jeshim sent to me, saying, Come, let us meet together among the villages in the plain of Ono. For they thought to do me harm. So I sent messengers to them, saying, I am doing a great work, so that I cannot calm down. Why should the work cease? while I leave it and go down to you? But they sent me this message four times, and I answered them in the same manner. Then Sanbalat sent his servant to me as before, the fifth time, with an open letter in his hand, and it was written. It is reported among the nations, and Jeshem says, that you and the Jews plan to rebel Therefore, according to these rumors, you are rebuilding the wall that you may be their king, and you have also appointed prophets to proclaim concerning you at Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah, now these matters will be reported to the king. So come, therefore, and let us consult together. And then I sent to him, saying, no such things as you say are being done, but you invent them in your own heart. For they all were trying to make us afraid, saying, Their hands will be weakened in the work, and it will not be done. Now therefore, O God, strengthen my hands. Afterward, I came to the house of Shemaiah, the son of Deliah, the son of Mehitabel, who was a great informer, and he said, Let us meet together in the house of God, within the temple, and let us close the doors of the temple, for they are coming to kill you. Indeed, at night they will come to kill you. And I said, Should such a man as I flee? And who is there such as I who would go into the temple to save his life? I will not go in. Then I perceived that God had not sent him at all, but that he pronounced this prophecy against me because Tobiah and Sanballat had hired him. For this reason he was hired, that I should be afraid and act that way and sin so that they might have cause for an evil report that they might reproach me. My God, remember Tobiah and Sanballat according to these their works, and the prophetess Noadiah and the rest of the prophets who would have made me afraid. So the wall was finished on the 25th day of Elul in 52 days. And it happened when all our enemies heard of it and all the nations around us saw these things, that they were very disheartened in their own eyes, for they perceived that this work was done by our God. Also in those days, the nobles of Judah sent many letters to Tobiah, and the letters of Tobiah came to them, for many in Judah were pledged to him because he was the son-in-law of Shekaniah, the son of Era, And his son, Jehohanan, had married the daughter of Mishalam, the son of Berechiah. Also, they reported his good deeds before me and reported my words to him. Tobiah sent letters to frighten me. Then it was, when the wall was built and I had hung the doors, when the gatekeepers, the singers, and the Levites had been appointed, that I gave the charge of Jerusalem 
to my brother Hanani, and Hananiah the leader of the citadel, for he was a faithful man and feared God more than many. And I said to them, Do not let the gates of Jerusalem be opened until the sun is hot, and while they stand guard, let them shut and bar the doors and appoint guards from among the inhabitants of Jerusalem, one at his watch station and another in front of his own house. Now the city was large and spacious, but the people in it were few, and the houses were not rebuilt. Then my God put into my heart to gather the nobles, the rulers, and the people, that they might be registered by genealogy, and I found a register of the genealogy of those who had come up in the first return and found it written in it. These are the people of the province who came back from the captivity of those who had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon had carried away and who returned to Jerusalem and Judah, everyone to his city. Those who came to Zerubbabel were Joshua, Nehemiah, Azariah, Remiah, Nahamani, Mordecai, Belshan, Meshpereth, Begbai, Nehom, and Bena. The number of the men of the people of Israel, the sons of Parush, 2,172. The sons of Shephatiah, 372. The sons of Era, 652. The sons of Pahath, Moab, of the sons of Yeshua and Joab, 2,818. The sons of Elam, 1,254. The sons of Zatu, 845. The sons of Zakai, 760. The sons of Benoi, 648. The sons of Bebai, 688. The sons of Asgad, 2322. The sons of Adonikam, 667. The sons of Begbai, 2067. The sons of Adin, 655. The sons of Atur of Hezekiah, 98. The sons of Hashom, 328. Sons of Bezai, 324. The sons of Harith, 112. The sons of Gibeon, 95. The men of Bethlehem and Netopha, 188. The men of Anathoth, 188. The men of Beth Asmaveth, 42. The men of Perjath Jerem, Chephera, and Beroth, 743. The men of Rema and Giva 621, the men of Mekmash 122, the men of Bethel and Ai 123, the men of Ather and Ebel 52, the sons of Ather Elam 1254, the sons of Harem 320, the sons of Jericho 345, the sons of Lod, Hadid, and Ono. 721. The sons of Shena, 3930. The priests, the sons of Jediah, of the house of Yeshua, 973. The sons of Bimmer, 1052. The sons of Pashur, 1247. The sons of Harim, 1017. The Levites, the sons of Yeshua, of Gadmiel, and of the sons of Hadiva, 74, the singers, the sons of Asaph, 148, the gatekeepers, the sons of Shalom, the sons of Atur, the sons of Talmon, the sons of Akob, the sons of Hatita, the sons of Shobai, 138, the Nethanem, the sons of Ziha, the sons of Hasufa, the sons of Tebo, Tabaoth, the sons of Keros, the sons of Sia, the sons of Padon, the sons of Libana, the sons of Hagaba, 
the sons of Salmai, the sons of Hanan, the sons of Gidel, the sons of Gahar, the sons of Riaya, the sons of Rizin, the sons of Nikuda, the sons of Gazam, the sons of Uza, the sons of Paseya, the sons of Besai, the sons of Meonim, the sons of Nefeshisim, the sons of Bakbok, the sons of Hakufa, the sons of Harhor, the sons of Basleth, the sons of Mahida, the sons of Harsha, the sons of Barkoz, the sons of Sisera, the sons of Tema, the sons of Neziah, and the sons of Hatifa. The sons of Solomon's servants, the sons of Sotai, the sons of Sophereth, the sons of Merida, the sons of Jaila, the sons of Darkon, the sons of Gidel, the sons of Shabbatiah, the sons of Hatil, the sons of Shirith, of Zibayim, the sons of Ammon, all the Nethanim, and the sons of Solomon's servants, the 392. And these were the ones who came up from Telmela, Telharsha, Cherub, Adon, and Imer, for they could not identify their father's house, nor their lineage, whether they were of Israel, the sons of Deliah, the sons of Tobiah, the sons of Nicoda, 642, and of the priests, the sons of Hobiah, the sons of Koz, the sons of Barzillai, who took a wife of the, the daughter of Barzillai, the Gileadite, and was called by their name. These sought their listing among those who were registered by genealogy, but it was not found. Therefore, they were excluded from the priesthood as defiled. And the governor said to them that they should not eat of the most holy things till a priest could consult with the Urim and Thummim. Altogether, the whole assembly was 42,000. And sixty, besides their male and female servants, of whom there were seven thousand three hundred and seven and thirty seven, and they had two hundred and forty five men and women singers. The horses were seven hundred and thirty six, their mules two hundred and forty five, their camels four hundred and thirty five, and donkeys six thousand seven hundred and twenty. And sums of the head of the father's houses gave to work. The governor gave to the treasury 1,000 gold drachmas, 50 basins, and 530 priestly garments. Some of the heads of the father's houses gave to the treasury of the work 20,000 gold drachmas and 2,200 silver minas, and that which the rest of the people gave was thir- was 20,000 gold drachmas, 2,000 silver minas, and 67 priestly garments. So the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, some of the people, the Nethanim, and all Israel dwelt in their cities. Psalm 89, 5-10 And the heavens will praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness also in the assembly of the saints. For who is the heavens can be compared to the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened to the Lord? God is great to be feared in the assembly of the saints, and to be held in reverence by all those around him. O Lord God of hosts, who is mighty like you, O Lord? Your faithfulness also surrounds you. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. You have broken Rahab in pieces as one who is slain. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Proverbs 21, 28 A false witness shall perish. The man who hears him speak, him will speak endlessly.
Acts 27, 1 to 26. And when it was decided that we should sail to Italy, they delivered Paul and some other prisoners to one named Julius, a centurion of the Augustan regiment. So entering a ship, an Adramitium, we put to sea, meaning to sail along the coasts of Asia. Aristarchus, a Macedonian of Thessalonica, was with us. The next day, we landed at Sidon, and Julius treated Paul kindly and gave him liberty to go to his friends and receive care. When we had put to sea from there, we sailed un- under the shelter of Cyprus, or Cyprus, because the winds were contrary. When we had sailed over the sea, which is off Sicilia, and Pamphylia, who came to Myra, a city of Lycia. There the centurion found an Alexandrian ship sailing to Italy, and he put us on board. When we had sailed slowly many days and arrived with the dif- difficulty of Cnidus, the wind not permitting us to proceed, we sailed under the shelter of Crete of Salmon. Salmoni. Crete of Salmoni, passing it with difficulty, we came to a place called Fair Havens, near to the city of Lasia. Now, when much time had been spent and sailing, it was now dangerous because of the fast was already over. Paul advised them, saying, Men, I perceive that this voyage will end with disaster and much loss, not only of the cargo of the cargo and ship, but also our lives. Nevertheless, the centurion was more persuaded by the health man, the owner of the ship, that by that ship than by the things spoken by Paul. And because the harbor was not suitable to winter in, the, ma- the majority advised to set sail from there also, if by any means they could reach Phoenix, a harbor of Crete, opening toward the southwest and northwest and winter there. When the south wind blew softly, Supposing that they had obtained their desire putting out to sea, they sailed close to Crete. But not long after, a, tem- a tempestuous, tempestuous headwind arose called Eurocoidon. So when the ship was caught and could not head into the wind, we let her drive. And running under the shelter of an island called Clauda, we secured and skiff with difficulty. When they had taken it on board, they used cables to undergird the ship, and, fe- and fearing least they could run around on the sa- on the surface sands, they struck sail, and so were driven. And because we were exceedingly tempest toast, the next day they lightened the ship. On the third day, we threw the ship's tackle overboard with their own hands. Now, when neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, no small tempest beat on us. All hope that he would be saved was finally given up. But after long abstinence from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me and not have sailed from Crete and endured this. Disaster and loss. And now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you but only of the ship, for there stood by me this night an angel of God to whom I belong and whom I serve, saying, Do not be afraid, Paul, you must be brought before Caesar, and indeed God has granted you all those 
who sail with you. Therefore, take heart, men, for I believe God that it will be just as it was told me. However, we must run aground on a certain island. Amen and amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, for your goodness, your faithfulness, Lord. Thank you, God, for your word, God, and your word is true. Thank you, God, for the already granted the desires of my heart, so Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your divine protection. Thank you for letting us enjoy your beautiful creation, Lord God. Hallelujah. We deserve God, all the praises, glory, and adoration for you. You are holy, you are mighty, and great. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen.